Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we move back to modern day Iraq for the Battle of Es Sin between a combined British and Indian force against the Ottomans on September 28, 1915. British Major General Charles Vera Ferris Townsend, a well-known womanizing drinker in his early military career, was born in 1861 to a prominent son and who liked to associate with actors. He was leading the 6th Pune Division, part of the Indian Expeditionary Force D. Defending against the attack was Colonel Nuriddin Pasha, known by his men as Sakali Nuriddin, or in English, Bearded Nuriddin. He was leading 10,500 men and 13 guns from the Ottoman 35th and 38th Division, part of the Ottoman 6th Army in defense of Es Sin. Today, the British and Indian troops would walk away victorious. While British command did not want to press the successful attacks of earlier 1914 and 15 battles, they agreed to the request to push into the Turkish positions further on the condition that they received no more reinforcements outside of their area. Approximately a week or more before the attack would begin, General Townsend ordered multiple reconnaissance missions by aircraft and cavalry. He was determined to locate the Turkish defenses before they engaged. Once finding that the area was approachable, he moved away from a frontal attack and instead insisted on using a complicated set of maneuvers to try to envelope the Turkish defenders. Spoiler alert, his plans did not work out like he'd hoped. The battle started with members of the Pune Division deserting from Townsend's forces and approaching the Turkish defenders with the complete plans. Townsend did have some luck, however, as Colonel Nuriddin did not believe the deserters and so ignored the plans given to him. The attack began at 5 a.m. on September 28th as two columns of troops under the cover of an artillery attack began moving and engaged fully by dawn, but they were held back by the Turks until almost 9 a.m making the rest of the attack late as they were waiting on Brigadier General Walter Sinclair Delamain to reach his first goals. When Delamain reached the positions, his men, along with the help of other units, cleared out the area's trenches filled with Turkish soldiers by the use of bayonet. The rest of the day was filled with heavy fighting, but by dusk the British had captured almost the entirety of the northern trenches on the west bank of the Tigris. Nuriddin realized as night fell that his men, especially those part of the 38th Division, were in danger of being encircled and wiped out. He ordered them to retreat back to his HQ, where they would set up new defensive locations. By the end of the battle, Nuriddin's entire 6th Army, including the 35th and 38th Divisions, had retreated to north of Kut, stopping at Setesaphon and preparing a new set of defenses. While detailed casualties are hard to pin down, it is believed that at least 5,300 Turks were killed and all the guns used in the fight lost, but there are no specific records for the losses of the Pune Division itself. The end result was not as good as British command had hoped, Nuriddin had been able to extricate his troops, even with heavy casualties, in good order, and to reform back at Sedisfan. In addition, Nuriddin was able to start drawing on other Turkish forces for the reinforcements, giving the Turkish defenders valuable experience defending against British attacks from defensive networks. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.